Welcome to another video. Today we're looking at a very rare watch. This is a Seiko EL370, which is part of the Seiko electronic balance driven uh, line of watches. In the late 50s, electric watches were first developed. The idea was very interesting. It was a battery driven balance wheel. So instead of a mainspring holding the power, here a, a battery would run the send the power to the balance wheel. And from the balance wheel onward, the components were the same as a regular mechanical watch. And unlike an automatic mechanical watch, it would never need hand winding. Of course, by the late 60s, the Seiko Astron Quartz changed all of that as it upended the watch market and things were never the same again. So Hamilton and a bunch of other companies had come out with their uh, electronic balance wheel watches and in the late 60s, I think about 1968 or so, uh, Seiko introduced their own electronic balance wheel movement which was the 3100 series which was then superseded by the 3700 series and this is part of the 3700 series. The balance wheel, the electronic watches obviously didn't last long because the quartz watches had come into being and it was kind of uh, just silly having uh, electronic balance wheel watches around. But very interesting watches otherwise. These have a small transistor in them and then there's all the components of a regular mechanical watch. If you look at the back of the watch, there's a pretty large it's got a big, it's pretty deep because, you know, circuitry was not as miniaturized in those days. And you have a full mechanical watch with a battery on top of that so that the battery hump takes a lot of space. The, this particular model has, is in really good shape. It has, you can see, uh, an ex having been left uh, exposed to a light over many years ago left a mark of where the R and the minute hand, uh, hands one stood when it was out of battery. But it has the smooth second sweep that all of these uh, balance wheel watches had. And it also, the movement is such that you will see that the it uh, sort of stutters ever, every few seconds. It's got, it has the, as far as the case is concerned, it's got a nice UFO case, as was the fashion in those day in the late 60s. Has a crown on the uh, at the four o'clock mark, and that uh, point in there means it has a quick set for the date. So if you push this in, that's how you change the date on this. And obviously, if you want to change the time, you have to pull the crown out, and you just move it forward. To change the day. Early Seiko watches did not have a quick set for the day so you had to do the usual routine of taking it back to 11 and moving it past midnight to get the day to change. Uh, otherwise it just is a the especially with this vintage uh, off-white dial that this watch has it's a really beautiful watch. The watches that Seiko made in the late 60s were some of the most enduring uh, designs in build quality as well as the fit and finish. Let me pull up some quick dimensions of this so that, you know, this is a rare watch. So let's see. So the diameter of the case is 38.4 and the from lug to lug, it's about 40, about 42 millimeters. So it's just, you know, let's check get a thing of the width. And it's about 14 millimeters in depth. So it's a pretty deep watch. But yes, otherwise an absolute great watch. I'll have a I'll show you quickly how it wears on the wrist. I think I'm too close to this, but as you can see, it has a nice heft to it which makes it very contemporary and that smooth uh, movement of the 
uh, second hand, which is really just a simple mechanical movement, uh, gives it the one of the charms that the automa the quartz movements never had. And this particular unit is really in great shape. It has a nice brushed finish on the bezel and the with a, sh a polished bezel around it, and again a brushed. Uh, a polished sides. I think I need to give it a nice it, this watch needs a little bit of cleaning But yeah, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know what you think in the comments and Please be sure to like the video and hit subscribe to my channel